DIY with Jules and today's project is going to be converting this old dresser into a beautiful buffet server. I have the polyurethane that I used the last time on my china cabinet but I found a new spray so I'm going to try that um, today on this project. Of course I'm going to degloss it because it can't pick up the paint or the polyurethane with you know this shiny gloss on top of it so I'm going to use that to clean it off I decided that I was going to um, take these drawers out of it leave the two top ones and make two shelving units out of that so let's see how the project goes I'll see you guys soon so I've already taken the drawers out and um, I took the middle part that holds the dresser um, drawer in out so um, I went to Home Depot and I decided to have some wood panels cut to fit the inside you have to make sure you measure correctly because I ended up having to cut some of the wood um, because not all my measurements were correct so make sure that you measure from the inside of your um, of your drawer section. Um, of course, I want to cover the back panel because I want all the back not to show. So you have to measure the inside, measure straight, um, up and down, and measure across on all three sides just to make sure that you have the correct measurements. Okay. Now you're gonna have the back panel like I already have on this side. You're gonna have a side panel and you are going to have a two center panel. Here we go. Like this. I have to cut this one of course, you see? It's just a little bit too big for it, so I have to cut that section off. That's why I, I tell you, you have to make sure you get your measurements correctly. Now, once I have it all done, it's going to be painted so that it'll match the dresser and this will be my shelving so that I can put my serving trays and my um, my silverware, my silver spoons, forks, all that and serving um, utensils will go in the drawers and everything else will go down here. Um, all right, so I put in the sides. This is what it looks like. I have them glued in, I have them clamped on and I'll be back tomorrow to work on the rest of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add putty to the insides and I am going to add putty on the outside. I'm going to smooth it on down and make sure that it's nice and even and then we can get on with the deglossing and the painting. Alright guys, so it's a couple of days later and the uh, glue is dry. I went ahead and added caulking to the edges and on the outside and my original plan was to um, do a nice mahogany finish on the whole thing and but I decided that because I had to add caulking to the corners here um, I don't think that the mahogany finish will cover that area so I'm going to paint the bottom uh, brown and I am going to do the finish on so the, the paint top. that I'm using is this uh, rust-oleum satin um, paint and primer and it is espresso brown this is what it's looking like so far I love it I love it I didn't think it was gonna come out that cute um, that's just a quick first coat I only had a little bit left so I used whatever I had left over to kind of sort of prime it and I absolutely love the color that it's coming out um, I cannot wait to see the mahogany on top once it's all done once I have my second coat in I'll check back in okay okay so I have to apologize I lost some footage along the way of me painting and removing the hardware and also painting the hardware I literally took the spray paint 
um, of the brown and I spray painted the bottom brown and I used a polyurethane spray on the top. By the way, the polyurethane is the same as the um, one I used on my china cabinet is just in spray form. I will show you what it looks like in my living room. I um, put some things on it, um, just a little decoration so you guys can see how beautiful it can look. I took a couple of baskets from another um, shelving unit I have and put them on the bottom. Um, of course, those are too small. I have to get some larger ones. But once I get all of my chafing dishes unpacked and um, my silver, I will be putting those on top of this server. And it's absolutely beautiful. I am so happy with it. I am proud of myself because I wasn't too sure whether I can actually get away with it. And I actually did. I think it came out amazing. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. And give me a thumbs up and share. Please share. Um, it really helps me when my videos are shared. Thank you and have a wonderful day. And it is before Thanksgiving, so have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And if I don't see you guys before Christmas, which I probably have a Christmas video up, um, have a wonderful Christmas. Hugs and kisses to you all. Love you. Bye. Right.